Hey, what's up guys? Lindsay here. Got Pumpkinhead number two. Now, if you watch my comic sales video, you know that Pumpkinhead number one only sold 6,000 copies. So if you know somebody who likes horror, tell them there's a Pumpkinhead comic. And I really like this cover. It's got the orange. Pumpkinhead looks less scary than normal, but more pumpkin-like. But it's really cool. So the first page, I'm going to skip it. You see the father, remember there were a bunch of kids who got killed in a hit and run. And the father, he goes to the hag. You know what, her name is Hag, so you know what, that's just my nickname for her. So it's not being disrespectful to the elderly at all, so thank you very much. But he goes to her, summons Pumpkinhead to kill the, the guys who hit and run his kid. But if you've seen the Pumpkinhead movies, you know who summons him can see what Pumpkinhead is doing and, and then can feel it and so the the father he starts feeling really bad and the, he's like oh god I can see it shit and they're like we need to help him the rest of his family member wants to help him and he's like don't help me I want to see it and then we get to this shit our boy our boy Pumpkinhead the father says I want to see what they get deserved and he's just on top of this dude and he, uh, I don't really Pumpkinhead like like teeth on his jowls and he just grabs this dude's head and squeezes it oh oh my god i don't think he ever did that in the movies but that is so sick it's so awesome and then pumpkin head's like hey i'm trying to make this guy's uh, head a stress ball i can use whenever i want but then these other guys show up and they're like just just fucking kill this thing and of course they all have baby gun ak's and you're just you're just irritating Pumpkinhead when you do that shit. And then you know what? What's the worst thing that could happen while you're getting shot at? Was it also get bitten by a dog? I feel like your answer was probably get stabbed as well. But I mean, if that dog's teeth are sharp enough, that could feel like a stabbing sensation. And then this is really the chief offender here who ran over the kids. And then we get this crazy woman who's like. Just being like, Pum Pumpkinhead's getting us. And Pumpkinhead throws the dead dog through the window. Because Pumpkinhead doesn't respect your household. Pumpkinhead doesn't respect the rules of your house. No dead dogs in the house. And he's like, oh yeah? I'm a demon. And that's where dead dogs fucking go. And this guy goes, Jesus wept! Which, I don't know if that's a real exclamation people have, but... Whatever. Pumpkinhead comes through the window. Well, he really stretches that thing out. Pumpkinhead's height fluctuates, to me, between like 10 and 30 feet tall. So the old lady looks at Pumpkinhead and she's like, oh, I know who you are. And the old man, his wife, and this guy Clayton, they realize they gotta get the fuck out of here because Pumpkinhead is... Pumpkinhead don't play. And the old woman Bedelia's like, look, Clayton, you killed those kids. You're marked now. Pumpkinhead's gonna get you. So they get in their truck and they start running. And Pumpkinhead just latches onto a vehicle, which I'm pretty sure that's in a movie. And we just get this awesome panel just like... Because <sighs> Pumpkinhead's got some gnarly claws, so you don't want to see that coming through the windshield at all. And he's just, he's holding on for dear life. He can't get him. Pumpkinhead can't reach him with his ten foot long arms or whatever. And then this guy Clayton, get it, get it away, get away from me. That always works. Whenever you're in trouble, and someone is approaching you with something you don't want to be approached with, just yell, "Get away, get away from me!" And it works every time. So eventually, he swerves a little bit. Pumpkinhead, you know, he's too busy focused on the killing and not enough on his core strength and his balance. Even though I think Pumpkinhead, does Pumpkinhead have like awesome abs? Let's look. Let's look and see if Pumpkinhead is ripped. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, Pumpkinhead's got abs. You gotta use your core, man, if you want to stay on top of a vehicle. And Bedelia says, It's never gonna stop coming for us. Not until we're dead. Or it is. And Pumpkinhead's like, Who are you rascally rabbits? I'm gonna get your ass. You don't even know. What does Pumpkinhead do during the day? I think he just kills. And we get this scene, because remember the, the other plot, subplot going on, is the sheriffs who don't, people don't want to be involved with the law, they like that vigilante justice. So this guy's getting arrested and 
I think getting arrested would be kind of a godsend because this is his. Oh man, she's fat too. This who oh god? Maybe it's his mom. No, he calls her baby. It'd be weird to call your mom baby, and he's got this acne. And they're like, "What are you? What are you arresting me for? I don't know why." This fucking small ass bag of weed, and you're like, oh, "Okay, now we know how." Not um, the amount of crime happens. Like, if this is it. If you're getting arrested for a bag of weed, then we know. We know. It's not looking that good. And they're like, this is possession with an intent to distribute. Fuck off! That's like, I don't even smoke weed, but that's like a fun weekend. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And then, but they call them pills, I think. For starters, why don't you tell us where you got all those pills? Were those supposed to be green pills? Because that, that just looks like weed. And then we cut back to the old man... Bedelia and Clayton, the skinhead guy, and I can, I'll call him a skinhead because he has a confederate flag tattooed on his back, and I feel like, even if you have the greatest of intentions, a confederate flag back tattoo is probably not the way to go about anything. So they go to the crazy old lady who summons complicated. Her name is Haggis. She has a whole bunch of sisters. And if you, they all just genetically will look like this. <laughs> Wow, she's got pumpkin and rib cake. How do you have... It's like, how do you have... 18 collarbones? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. So they explained to her, look... Your sister Haggis summoned Pumpkinhead. We're in a little bit of a trouble. A little bit of an issue. It's like, hey, I gotta call into work. Pumpkinhead's, Pumpkinhead's calling me, you know? Use that excuse if you feel like it. I feel like it will work. And then the cops end up on their farm and they see this. Look at this. Look, Pumpkinhead stole this guy's fucking neck. That guy's neck is gone. Pumpkinhead took this guy's neck and made it into a fucking keychain that he attaches to one of his ginormous shoulder blades. Jesus Christ. And they're like, um, no one was killed the bullets here. It was all Pumpkinhead claws. And of course, they're like, well, that's... Obviously, we have a werewolf on our hands, because, you know what, in movies and stuff, especially werewolf movies, they're all, they don't want to jump to the conclusion that it was werewolves, and I'm just saying, cut to the chase, get to the werewolves, because from werewolf to pumpkinhead, that jump is way easier than Psycho, Psycho with Ginsu knives, and then you gotta jump to werewolf, and then you gotta jump to pumpkinhead, it's like, no, 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 just start at werewolf. And work your way back, or work your way forward. That's, I am all, I am a decorated police veteran of 35 years on um, the force. Um, I can't say which force because the Geneva Convention, so you know, just take my word for it, you know what I'm saying? Just make, just start at Werewolf and then we'll then go back. When you're playing Clue, guess Werewolf every time. You'll win every time. And then the cops, they go to a bar and if you remember in the first issue there was a guy in a cell being like, it's vengeance. Don't worry about that. So, they want him to explain further because that crime scene was fucking wild. And then he mentions Pumpkin. He's like, keep away from Pumpkinhead unless you're tired of living. Oh, God. You know, sometimes you just wake up and you're just fucking tired of living. You know what I'm saying? And we get this scene where all the kids in the first issue, they're all grown up and they all are gross. Like, no matter what you do in that family. You're all gonna be super skinny, but you're gonna have like 18 collarbones. And one of your eyes is gonna be fucked up. <laughs> Just look at her. She looks like she looks like something that would be on a heavy metal cover. It's just bad. Like, or unless if she's a century old, I understand. But you find out all the scissors are here except for Haggis, which is the one who summoned Pumpkinhead. And they gather. They all bring an offering to this fire, and it's they're all body shaped. But does that necessarily mean their bodies? You know what? Since I am a decorated police war veteran of the Genevan Venetian Wars, if it's shaped like a body, nine times out of ten, it's a fucking body. So they, we offer these effigies to the flames that they might be born into the world of man. So they start saying pride, greed, envy, lust, sloth. They toss them into these green flames, and then some... Dope shit happens that you would not think. It's fun. I can't wait to read this. This series is only four issues. I'm definitely going to be reading three and four. So subscribe to me. 
if you want to see those so you don't forget. And then it has a little thing like the other issue where it just has some black and white things of a sin. This one is um, gluttony. Yeah, but this comic is just fun. It's just like, there aren't going to be Pumpkinhead movies made for a while, so this is the best we can get. So, you know, just enjoy it. Uh, have a good one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.